Do you want to know the monetary value of all the art, jewelry, literature, games, or clothing now filling your closets and steamer trunks? Contact Ithaca Vintage. Tremendous appraisers. 2289 Route 96, Trumansburg. Steve, you may be pleasantly surprised to learn that you are suddenly, unexpectedly, quite rich. It's worth a call. Ithaca Vintage. 607-591-2395. Now, Craft Zone, are we ready? Yes, we are ready. <laughs> All right, without further ado, the Craft Zone Royal Shakespeare Company. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Thank you. Thank you over there. We have for you the complete history of mankind in six minutes. Love, hate, war, peace, repeat. I dreamt a dream tonight. And so did I. Well, what was yours? That dreamers often lie. In bed asleep while they do dream things true. Oh. Then I see Queen Mab hath been with you. She is the fairy's midwife, and she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an other man. And in this state, she gallops night by night through lovers' brains, and then they dream of love. <gasps> but soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east. And Juliet is the sun. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, why for art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Oh, she Tis, speaks. But thy name that is my enemy. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Oh, thou art as glorious to me as the night being o'er my head, as is the winged messenger of heaven unto the white upturned wondering eyes of mortals that fall back to gaze upon him. Oh, what fools these mortals be! Come, knight, come, Romeo, come thou day and night, for thou wilt lie upon the wings of night whiter than snow upon a raven's back. Come, gentle knight, come, loving, black-browed knight, give me my Romeo, and when he shall die, Take him and cut him into little stars, and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night. If music be the food of love, play on. Sonnet 18. Oh. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the daring buds of May, but thy eternal summer shall not fade. So long as men can breathe and eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. But I, that am not shaped for mortal trips, nor made to court an amorous looking glass, I, that am rudely stamped and want love's majesty to strut before a wanton ambling nymph. I am determined to prove a villain. Love, his affections do not that way tend. Ah, <laughs> true, I talk of dreams. There are a kind of men so loose of soul that in their sleeps will mutter their affairs. One of these kind is Cassio. Oh, Desdemona, had it pleased heaven to try me with affliction, had they rained all kinds of sores and shames on my bare head, steeped me in poverty to the very lips, given unto captivity me and my utmost hopes, I should have found in some place of my soul a drop of patience. But alas. It will have blood. They say it will have blood. Stones have been known to move and trees to speak by maggot pies and chuffs and rooks brought forth. The secret is man of blood. Come, ceiling night, scarf up the tender eye of pitiful day, and with thy bloody, 
an invisible hand cancel and tear to pieces that great bond that keeps me pale. The queen, my lord, is dead. Ha! She should have died hereafter. There would have been time for such a word tomorrow. Tell Bolingbroke, for yon me thinks he stands, that every stride he makes upon my land is dangerous treason. He has come to ope the purple testament of bleeding war. But ere the crown he looks for live in peace, ten thousand bloody crowns of mother's sons shall ill become the flower of England's face. Ring bells aloud! Ring bells aloud! And burn bonfires clear and bright! From Ireland comes York to claim his right! Once more unto the priest, dear friend, once more! Or close the wall up with our English dead! I shall not fear till Burham Wood to come to Dunsinane. And now a wood comes to Dunsinane. Arm, arm, and out! Oh, oh, oh. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he who stands today with me shall be my brother. And gentlemen in England now abed shall think themselves a curse they were not here and hold their manhoods cheap whilst any speaks that fought with us upon St. Christmas, Christmas Day. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war! The first thing we do, let's kill all the lawyers. <laughs> I begin to be wary of the sun and wish the estate of the world were now undone. And tomorrow, oh, I am dead, Horatio. For heaven's sake. Let us sit upon the ground and tell sad stories of the deaths of kings. Our revels now are ended, and like the baseless fabric of this vision, the cloud-capped towers, the gorgeous palaces, the solemn temples, the great globe itself, yea, all which it inherit, shall dissolve. And like this insubstantial pageant faded, leave not a rack behind. We are of such stuff as dreams are made on. To sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come? To sleep, to dream. There is the calamity of so long life. I dreamt a dream tonight. And so did I. Well, what was yours? That dreamers often lie. In bed asleep, while they do dream things true. I see then that Queen Mab hath been with you. is Rondon's Village Pub, a, a mouth-watering pizza made to order with an abundance of fresh toppings, a rich, juicy, homemade burger topped with your choice from a, a variety of cheeses, slice of onion, tomato. And why am I talking like that? Because the Crapstone Royal Shakespeare Company has captured my heart. <coughs> along with a heady pour of local beer. <laughs> <laughs>